What's wrong here? Can you tell? My uh, yarn winder usually makes these beautiful cakes. That's what they call it. I don't know who they is. This is like a donut. Something is wrong. I'm going to show you how to fix it. Okay, so when your yarn winder stops making beautiful cakes and instead starts making you really... It, I call it a donut because instead of wrapping the yarn crisscrossed all over the place, it just makes it smooth, which ends up making it kind of like a donut. The problem is that inside here, the gear has come loose, so we need to take this apart. You'll need a screwdriver. My screwdriver is really tiny, but it does the trick. Technically, this requires um, an X or a cross. You can tell I'm really good at the tools. I am, this one fits. It's flat and it fits in there, so that's what I'm going to use. The righty tidy lefty loosey trick does not work on this. They have reversed it. I don't know if there's a special word for that, but you're going to be turning it this way to get the, the screw open. This is Knit Picks brand. I'm sure that other brands use different ones. First thing you can do is take this off. Usually it twists these little these little things they come out there's a screw here I only have a flat one and it fits so I'm gonna use a flat one but if you have the plus sign or the X or whatever they call it you can go ahead and use that this has happened to me once before um, I'm not sure if that means the machine is bad people will complain about it it works for me pretty good except for these random things and I can fix them so I really don't mind So the bottom screw, I, I started, but it's not all the way out yet. All right, I'm holding the screw so that I can turn this plastic thing because it seems to be faster. <laughs> there we go. So we've got, don't lose these pieces. The screw with a bunch of bolts. Ah, I got yucky stuff on me. Oof -da. Little dust gets in there, fuzz pieces. This gear, it's uh, a bit dirty, but that's the gear. It stays still. You see, when you're spinning this, the gear in there stays still. And this gear is supposed to latch on to that. So when you have this going around, it's not just going around, it's grabbing that gear, and that's what makes it do this like lopsidey back and forth thing instead of just round and round. So what's happened is that the gear and this has popped off. And usually the culprit is my little children. They love spinning this and I leave it attached to my desk. And uh, sometimes that's what happens. So the trick is, it's a really dumb trick, to be honest. You can pull these apart. We need this one to be in here. We'll attach the screw again. But before we put that screw on, we have to get this gear to be on there. So this is what's happened. It's popped off. And instead of, it just spins around in there. The best way I have found of getting this on there, is to put it in and then get it through that hole. And it's slightly difficult. You kind of have to manhandle it. So now the gears are going around. We're gonna have to put all the screws back together. First, the messy, greasy one. Now would be a great time for you to grease your machine if you think it needs it. I have not found that greasing it helps with the squeak. Oh, that's gross. <laughs> I prefer clean yarn, okay? <laughs> Ew! Anyways, this is not my favorite job. And you're going to laugh at me because it's really just a screw with some oil on it. Who cares? Greasing the machine has not helped with the squeak. I did try it. It just made it, I don't know, greasy. <laughs> so that's it. Now you have to get this thing back on top. It does have inside here these little grooves that have to line up with those little grooves. It won't, it won't go down if you don't get the grooves on. So you don't have to worry about accidentally getting it in the wrong place. It just won't go. Okay. Then we pop this thing back on, 
goes in those little things, turn it, and now we give it a test. I'm just going to put it back on my desk here. So if you don't know how to use these, we've got this loop-de-loop, -loop. put our yarn under the loop, and wrap it around so that it's now inside. You could also, if you wanted to, you can like thread it through the holes, but the whole point of this loop-de-loop -loop is that you can just easily wrap it. And then we pop it in here. If your yarn is really thin, I will sometimes push it in twice to high enough make it stick. <laughs> okay, here's the magic thing. We're going to hold this here so that it gives us the proper tension, which for me is just tighter than nothing, right? I'm not really pinching it, I'm just holding it. And we spin it. It doesn't matter which direction you spin it, as long as you keep going the same direction once you've started. Come on, you. We're going to see if you're working. Oops, we got a bit of a tangly thing. That's okay. That's because my donut was not very good. I'm not sure how many tangos we'll get. Probably a million. But you can already see that crisscross action is happening as opposed to smooth going over the same spot over and over. So those gears inside just popped open and that's why your machine wasn't doing what it was supposed to be doing. But you can see it is working once we got those gears back together. Quick fix. Back to Speedy Gonzales.